I spent more money on spilled liquor and virus from one side of this world to the other than you made. So you're John D. Rockefeller in the late 1800s, and you have a big problem. It's the Industrial Revolution, and you have this giant oil empire, but you simply can't find enough wage slaves to keep the wheels turning. Unlike today, where you can just make a job post online, and a bunch of- Just, just by them starting, I'm going by all these foundations mm -hmm. right now that the Rockefellers have set up for education. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The mm -hmm. rock, all these foundations, you know oh, yeah. that they oh, yeah. invest in, into, so... Uh, educated laborers would come flocking your way? Back then, most of America was rural. Most of America lived simple lives on farms. They were homeschooled, they went to schools ran by churches. They didn't know how to work a factory job or at an oil refinery. They weren't conditioned to clock in and out. So you needed... See, back back then what he just said they went to, to, to schools by churches mm -hmm. but the school churches if you don't know if people don't know they know but they went to school to learn how to interpret the bible how to read the bible mm -hmm. that's what the school is and that's what the school bell in the house and everything that's why back in the day the schools looked like churches because that's what they were right because they were there just to read the bible right to interpret the bible so uh so before Rockefeller comes in. Mm -hmm. School was just pretty much Bible study. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, yep. interesting. Yep. A way to educate the population on a massive scale so they could come work for you. However, we don't want to educate them too much now, do we? Remember, knowledge is dangerous. There's a reason why slaves weren't allowed to learn how to read or write. So if you're going to educate the masses, you have to tread very carefully. Teach them too much and they'll become too ambitious, too independent. They'll think for themselves. They'll become your competitors. Instead, you want to teach them just enough so they can keep your empire running with a happy, obedient smile on their face. So what did you do? You helped pioneer the American public school system. All of a sudden, every parent could just send their kids off to a free public school funded by good old Rockefeller. To the rest of the world, you look like a saint. You were giving free education to all those uncivilized, ignorant Americans. But you know the truth. By dangling the prospect of free education in front of millions of American parents, you were able to trick them into relinquishing their children to the states. That way, for that's 8 that's to 12 years of a child's most formative- Yeah. That's what I was saying because not only that you're getting them into the workforce, but now you get to the shape and mold their minds because children are more in school than what they are around their parents mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's like who's going to have more influence mm -hmm. the teacher or the parent right 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 it's like the 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 i mean the only way i can think of it is like the the, the welfare version the welfare version for the school system Oh no! This is a bastardized. Yeah, well, not even bastardized. It's just yeah, welfare system for schooling. Yeah, yeah. That's because we gave you, we're giving you this, but you're going to just you have to do it our way. Exactly. And I mean, exactly. I couldn't imagine the propaganda that had to go in to get people to go to public schools mm -hmm. like i can mm -hmm. understand the commercials and like probably calling them stupid or you know just yeah. because how would you roll it out right right you know what i'm saying right. hey we got this yeah this that thing school you got going over there just learning bible study uh -uh. yeah 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 i don't know yeah. your abcs one two threes yeah. uh get them out there to work roller. yeah just get them out there to work. work yeah yeah because you you don't you don't learn taxes in school you don't you don't learn you know how to I mean? balance a checkbook you don't learn that you don't do none of that you know how to fill out a job application none or of that you know it's it's designed to make you a worker exactly yours exactly. you get to condition them to be exactly who you want them to be you get to decide what they learn and don't learn you get to decide how they see the world you get to condition them to be scared to be fearful to be obedient to not chase after their dreams to accept mediocrity you get to teach them that if they don't follow orders exactly to the t they are a failure because my thing is this they probably had more of a skill set not going to school because mm -hmm. you're working on a farm you're doing something mm -hmm. productive you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I have a skill set. Whatever, whatever you're doing on that farm, mm, right, keep right, it going. Right, right. Because 
really, you know, use a lot of people to say, hey, man, only thing I learned in school is really is arithmetic and learn how to weed. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. I mean, I know how to work this farm without doing anything. And it, I'm, I'm living off the land. I probably, they probably have hogs, they probably have chickens. Right, right, you know I mean? right, right. You know, vegetables or whatever, but it, it was basically showing them how to not to be self-sufficient. Exactly. It's just taking it away from them. Yeah. It's definitely taking it away. Because you have a skill. Because these are the traits that make for a good laborer. And it works. Yeah. By giving every American access to free, standardized public education, you were able to solve the labor problem in America. Now, every generation that came after it would go into school filled with innocence, creativity, and joy, and they would come out of school as an obedient worker that doesn't want to rock the boats. Workers who are perfectly happy making their employers rich. It goes on now. The education system is predicated on the idea of academic ability. And there's a reason. The whole system was invented around the world. There were no public systems of education really before the 19th century. They all came into being to meet the needs of industrialism. Ah, yes. Yeah. Our entire education system I can see today was mm -hmm. created because... If you got a whole bunch of farmers and you know you, you want to build some cars mm -hmm. or you know what I mean mm -hmm. and you have to get people a, in the workforce yeah even but, though they're fine but if you look at it I mean if you if if you follow the history of when this was happening and then the industrialized uh, era that come in was built off the back of this educational mm -hmm. system you know, you had yeah. all these companies that come out. You had Ford, then yeah. they came out with the Ford Model T, and then you started having... Yeah, GE, you had all these people that... All the companies. Yeah. All the corporations, you would yeah. say. And then the time period of that happening was the, the blooming of this the educational system mm -hmm. from that. Yeah. John D. Rockefeller needed more workers. But it wasn't just Rockefeller. No, loads of other rich American tycoons poured billions yeah. of dollars into creating the modern day education system we have today. These are the same wealthy dynasties behind big oil, big food, big pharma, and they all wanted to provide you with free conditioning, I mean education, while they send their kids to private schools. As Rockefeller once said, I don't want a nation of thinkers, I want a nation of workers. These are the dark or That's probably, I mean... That's stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like in the grand scheme of things, that is dumb. Yeah. Because if you want, you want a nation of builders and smart people. Yeah. So you can build the nation, not a bunch of obeyed workers. It's gonna probably blow the whole shit up like with this button, dude. Like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like right, you know what I mean? Right, like, right, right, right. Like if. Like you would probably get bet, like it would be better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because right. you have a whole bunch of smart people. But I understand now. I understand. Mm -hmm. Answer my own question because if everybody's like that, then you can't be like that. True. You True. might get. We might get another or, or baron. You don't want competition. You don't. You don't. You don't. They they want everybody chasing the carrot. Yeah. You, you know don't what want I mean? competition. Just of our education system and why you want to stay dangerous. For generations, experts tend to blame failing schools on failing neighborhoods. But reformers have begun to believe the opposite, that the problems of failing neighborhoods might be blamed on failing schools. I'd like for this country to have a real education president for a change. I'd like to be the education president. I don't ever expect to sign my name to any law that is more important than the Education Act in 1965. The day of reckoning is here. If you watch this channel, you're probably serious about gaining money and power, which is great. But if you're gonna do that, you're gonna need a great wallet that can keep up with your ambitions. Yes, and that. Called the Prussian Empire. The Prussian Empire is the empire that made up modern-day Germany, and these Prussians were geniuses at controlling the masses. See, in the late 1700s, Prussia invaded Poland, and they won. Prussia now occupied Poland. But the Prussians now face a new problem. Sure, they controlled Poland, but how were they going to get the Polish people to accept their new German rulers? They were the colonizers, the enemy, and yet somehow they needed to get the entire population to throw away their Polish identity and to accept imperial German nationalism. But the Prussians weren't stupid. They knew they had no chance in changing the minds of the adults. The adults were proud Polish people. They were set in their ways. There's no hope in converting them. 
But the children? Ah, uh, the Polish children were much more moldable. And if they could attack the children, they could decimate Polish culture in just one <laughs> generation. So Prussia created a new eight this year- is what, this, is, this is what's still going on today with the military. Mm -hmm. Because the recruiters look for kids fresh out of high school. And they tell you this, you either go to the, the military or you go to college. Mm -hmm. You know, further your education. You can be all you can be over here or you can further your education. Mm -hmm. You know, which which is, is, is just yeah, however people think it. Independent and all that is not an option. It's not. You, you, you can't choose for you yourself. You have to get to college or take a trade or yeah. go to the military. So when I was younger, not to get into a tangent, but when I was younger, my, my, my uncles, they went to the military and all that. And my grandmother was like, oh, when you get, you know, you get out of school, you can go to the military, you're going to the military. I'm like, no, right. I'm not going to the military. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I, I, I wanted to go to the military. I'm glad I didn't, but. Yeah, yeah. But that's, see, there was a lot of programming for the military. Exactly. Back then, you know, the mm -hmm. commercials would be all you can yeah. be and mm -hmm. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Be, you know, be all you know, the all be all can be. Yeah, they made it sound like you could, if you went yeah. there, you could be a superhero type. Yeah, he was a superhero. He was like, uh, this is what it was. Nobody yeah. wanted to be, a, 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 you know, an, an engineer or something. You know what I mean? He wanted to go to the military. Yeah. Education system, where for eight years kids would go to school and learn things like reading and writing, but they would also learn how to listen to orders. They would learn how to do as they're told to respect the authority of their Prussian leaders. And this new Prussian education system worked. One Prussian philosopher brilliantly described their education model by writing, Education should be aimed at destroying free will, so that yeah, I, 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 after peoples are thus schooled, they will be incapable throughout the rest of their lives of thinking, or acting otherwise than as their schoolmasters would have wished. When the technique has been perfected, every government that has been in charge of education for more than one generation will be able to control its subjects securely without the need of armies or policemen. It was as poetic as it was true. Basically, if you want a submissive population that you can rule over, you have to destroy their free will. You have to condition- because At that point, the children are like, who am I supposed to listen to? Mm -hmm. The government or my parents? Mm -hmm. You know, because- mm -hmm. This is all new to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I mean, I'm going to bring this up now. It's going it's, it's going to resonate at some point. But like the, uh, you know, the Biden administration, uh, the, the debt forgiveness for mm -hmm. the students, mm -hmm. that that's going to resonate somewhere. So that, that ties into a lot of this, what's going on here. Love not to think. Thinking is the enemy. And you have to start this conditioning when they're as young as possible. So, every Polish and Prussian child was required to attend school for 8 years. 8 years where day in and day out, these kids were forced with so much Prussian patriotism that by the time they left school, obedience to the Prussian monarchy was the only reality they knew. The Prussian system was so effective that it caught the eye of one person, an influential American politician by the name of Horace Mann. And Horace Mann planned on exporting this Prussian model to the good old US of A. was passionate about reforming American education. It was his life's duty. So in 1843, he traveled across Europe visiting schools to get ideas. But no education system impressed him more than the Prussian model. To him, the Prussian model was a work of art. Here was the roadmap to molding children into anything the elite wanted. If the Prussian model could remove every single trace of Polish culture, what could it do for America? With the Prussian model, it wouldn't matter if kids were Protestant, Catholic, Black, an immigrant, Native American, or even atheist. Because we would be able to permanently instill patriotism, duty, and hard work into all of them. And with Horstman's political influence, tax-funded public schools following the Prussian model slowly started popping up all over America. And slowly but surely, parents, teachers, those in charge, and society as a whole started to accept the Prussian model as the only sensible way to educate the youth. Instead of one big class, schools were divided into separate classes for kids of different ages. Horace also wanted mainly women to be the teachers, which is this didn't this didn't all happen in one go. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, this is incrementally done. Yeah. Right. So now it's like, yeah, okay, we're starting to accept it because this is the norm. Yeah. This is the norm. This is the norm. That's all yeah, I want yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah, this is this is interesting. 
why women dominate the teaching field today. Teachers were even sent to Prussia to learn firsthand how their system works. Authorities bought into the Prussian model so much that by 1864, Congress made it illegal for Native American kids to be taught in their native languages. Instead, they were sent to faraway boarding schools so teachers could kill the Indian to save the man. By the end of the 1800s, the Prussian model had taken over America. And by 1900, almost every American state made public school mandatory. Meaning that you had to give up your kid to the states or get the kid taken away from you and thrown in prison. Horace Mann changed the face of American public education forever, but the public school system wasn't in its final form yet. Because as much as the Prussian so model did that. wonders for the government, pause it for a second. Just let the people take that in for a second. Mm -hmm. That it was mandated. You had to have your kid go to school or get them taken away and yeah. face prison. And nobody even knows the reason why. Yeah. And this is why, basically. Take that in yeah you will go to prison two seconds take that in rewind it if you have to but just take that in yeah baby well i'm gonna be real brief i don't want to come out here and blow my own horn i don't want to toot my own horn but toot toot